But first, I want to ask you, this is a question that I think is very important to me and very important to the country. When you were in office, and I don't know when this happened or if it happened, did you go through the secret files, the UFO documents? <laughs> Because if I was president, that'd be the first thing I did. You know, it's funny. My daughters asked the very same question. They did? Yeah. Would you be allowed to tell your daughters what was in those files? Uh, no. You would not? No. Are there really great secrets that you know that you can't share with people? Yeah. Yeah, there are. Uh, and you never write about them? No. Maybe at a time in your life that no. you're like, oh, I'm 90, I'm going to do it. No. No, nothing. <laughs> Immediately, race to um, wherever they hold, have the files uh, about Area 51 and the UFOs, <laughs> yeah. and I go through everything to find out what happened. Right. Did you do that? <laughs> that's why you will not be president. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that, that's, that's the first thing that you would do. Um, <laughs> it's at the the top aliens of my won't list. let it happen. <laughs> <laughs> you reveal all their secrets. <laughs> They, you look they, they exercise strict control over us. Former U.S. Senator Harry Reid of Nevada put together a multi-million dollar investigation into the Pentagon's UFO files, and it included a real-life Fox Mulder tasked with catalog cataloging not just those documents related to UFO reports, but also to collect actual debris. In fact, a company was hired to modify buildings in Las Vegas to store metal alloys and other materials that were reportedly from sites where these unexplained events happened. Now, people who have had encounters have been tested for any physical changes. Military personnel were interviewed about what they saw. Now, we know what some of them saw from the 2017 video captured over the Pacific, when multiple military officers confirmed this mysterious sighting, including pilots and radar technicians. The U.S. Navy has finally acknowledged that videos appearing to show UFOs flying through the air are real. This was extremely abrupt, like a ping pong ball bouncing off a wall. The ability to hover over the water and then start a vertical climb from basically zero up towards about 12,000 feet and then accelerate in less than two seconds and disappear is mm -hmm. something I had never seen in my life. But it was run by a military intelligence official who told CNN they found compelling evidence that we, quote, may not be alone. Randy Kay, CNN, New York. In the summer of 2014, Lieutenant Graves was based out of Naval Air Station Oceana in Virginia Beach. The pilots wondered if their new radar system was malfunctioning until they saw one of the unidentified objects up close. Did he give you size, color, texture? It was basically a cube with inside of sphere where the points of the cube uh, were touching outside of the sphere. It wasn't until someone actually saw one go in between two aircraft at a close range, probably within 150 feet, that it was starting to get worrisome. Lieutenant Graves says when one of the objects nearly caused a terrifying mid-air collision. <laughs> Lieutenant Graves says the way the larger craft suddenly rotates at 90 degrees is unlike anything he had ever seen. The U.S. Navy just made a stunning admission. Naval officials yesterday confirmed that three separate UFO videos released by the New York Times in 2017 and previewed on the show are actually genuine. They do, in fact, show aerial phenomenon the Navy cannot explain and that, in fact, our understanding of physics cannot explain. There's obviously some reason they're not telling us. In 15 seconds, hypothesize as to what that reason might be. Well, some secret too terrible to be told, but yeah. I think we should be told, or at least... We, we should be hinted at. Hello, my name is Gabor Gilax, the empath, and I'm the founder of Zarnaps for the Ethical Treatment of Humans. When we Zarnaps discovered Earth 10 sun cycles ago, we were horrified at the way humans abuse the other animals in this planet, and we pledged to do better. But some Zarnaps started eating a few humans here, a few humans there, and before you know it. When your seven stomachs are a grumbling, don't reach for the Quesnar fruit. Grill up some fresh human. Then you know what to do. Human meat. Great for family dinners. Billions of humans are exploited every year in Zarnap Industries. It's big business now. Oh, excuse me, miss. Uh, do you have a moment for human babies? I have to get to yeah. work. Just one second, just here. Humans used for food are kept in rows of cages like these. 
The United Nations says growing numbers of African migrants passing through Libya are being sold as slaves by traffickers or militia groups before being held for ransom. The UN's migration agency interviewed West African migrants who told of being bought and sold in garages and car parks in the southern city of Saba, one of Libya's main migrant smuggling hubs. Most of us are now fat. IQ scores have been declining steadily for decades and a new study says environmental factors are to blame. You may believe that when you die, your organs will only be taken if you are a registered organ donor and then will be given to those in need. But that's not always the case. When you die, the hospital must call an organ and tissue procurement company to report your death. This is the law, even if you haven't signed up to donate your organs. If you register to be a donor, the company can immediately harvest your organs and tissues. For registered donors, procurement companies don't need approval from a family member. And if family members disagree with the donation, they can't stop it. These companies say they view every person who dies as a potential donor of bones, skin, and other tissues. If you have not signed up as a donor, the company will ask your family members to allow them to harvest your body parts anyway. If the coroner or hospital can't find your family, the company can still harvest your organs and tissues. California law says that a hospital executive or the coroner can make you a donor if they can't find your next of kin after a 12-hour search. The tissues the companies want, including your skin, bones, veins, fat, and those tissues are worth a lot of money. A single body can supply the raw materials for products that sell for hundreds of thousands of dollars. That was over very quickly. We walked in, and as soon as we walked in, the men started covering their faces. But they clearly wanted to finish what they were doing, and they kept bringing out what they kept referring to in Arabic as al budar the merchandise. All in all, they admitted to us that there were 12 Nigerians that were sold in front of us. And I, I honestly don't know what to say. That was probably one of the most unbelievable things I've ever seen. It's hard to believe that these are the lucky ones, rescued from warehouses like the one in which we witnessed the auction. They're sold if those warehouses become overcrowded or if they run out of money to pay their smugglers. Have you heard about people being auctioned off, about migrants being sold? Honestly, we hear the rumors, but there is nothing that's obvious in front of us. We don't have uh, evidence. But we now do. CNN has delivered this evidence to the Libyan authorities who have promised to launch an investigation so that scenes like this are returned to the past. It can be rough, but if we don't speak up for humans, who will? It's not like they can help themselves. They're pretty stupid. Okay, okay. So why do you want to eat humans? I worry about protein. Isn't human flesh the only way to get it? Yeah. No, no, there are actually a lot of easy ways. Oh my god, food. you guys, what about human bacon? Uh, oh, uh -huh. yeah. There's nothing better than waking up to the fresh smell of thick cut human bacon. Oh. We had uh, witnesses of disappearances, uh, people who'd been examined and then had disappeared, bus loads, entire prison wards which had been emptied out. The signs began to look like something much, much bigger. Uh, witnesses of disappearances, uh, people who'd been examined and then had disappeared, bus loads, entire prison wards which had been emptied out. The signs began to look like something much, much bigger. Always taking action for you. And first to six, the investigation of a business deal that deals in human body parts shifting from Detroit to Chicago as the feds launch a new raid. And once again, hundreds of families will be left wondering if the bodies of loved ones have been bought and sold on the black market. And 7 Action News investigator Jim Kirchner is here tonight with a story you'll see only on 7, Jim. Human meat. Great for family dinners. <laughs> The, the aliens won't list. let it happen. <laughs> <laughs> you reveal all their secrets. <laughs> they, they, they exercise strict control over us. <laughs>